Hello everyone, we meet today for a short video. Um, it's been a long time since I made one. I'll try this one in English, uh, not sure you understand my French accent. Tell me in the comments if you appreciate it or if I should leave YouTube translated for me. I'm going to show today this, this prototype. Um, you can see it's a, it's a remote control which allows you to, to command the, the, e the ELS remotely. The idea came from someone who bought a unit and asked me if we could depart the display or the controls. Um, it was not possible uh, to, to depart the, the display. But on the other hand, departing the commands, uh, as we can see, w was not so complicated. Then I made this prototype. Uh, we can see it is a prototype, uh, as I took over a good part of the, the electronics and I reused the, the plastic shape I had. The code would also deserve to be a little more optimized, probably to limit consumption. Um, it is wired with a micro USB connector that everyone has at home. It is a simple phone charger. There is no battery. It would be something that would be pretty easy to implement. As you can see, it works. It works very well, even if the overall reaction time sometimes is not as good as on, on the main units. I, I forgot to mention all the controls here on the ELS remain accessible. There is no deactivation. So I created a, a menu. Um, if you set it to no, the remote control does not work anymore. You can see that nothing happens. And if I put it back to yes, it works again as it always try to get connected. You can unplug the ELS or the remote. It will connect automatically all the time. For now it's just a prototype. Um, I, I was a little skeptical at the beginning about the, the interests of this remote. But after seeing videos of people who bought my, my ELS install on the lathe, um, I changed my mind. Um, especially when we do automatic threading. Um, you can see here I, I set up the automatic threading. Um, it can be quite painful to push the button left, right, left, right all the time. So it could be very nice to have this kind of remote buttons. Um, we can imagine fixing it on the on the carriage or at least much closer than the main unit. Um, the main unit can be sometimes a little bit far away from your hand. So tell me what you think. Uh, today um, it's a prototype. I don't intend to go much further unless I have some feedback that people are interested. Um, if it is the case, uh, why not developing it in, in a more industrial way? Um, do something prettier, smaller, uh, there we can see that half is useless, or even two thirds is useless. <laughs> maybe put a put a battery connector, and maybe add a, a LED, also to say that it communicates well. Uh, it's something I could sell for around maybe twenty euros. Um, but are you ready to put that money on this type of remote control? I'm I'm really not sure. Um, I have some doubts. There is a market for this extension, so. I will not go further for now, um, but n do not hesitate to put in the comments. Tell me if you would be inter interested or not. Um, if I have many feedbacks that many people are interested, why not go from a prototype stage to a, a finished product, fully tested, optimized, etc. Um, then it could be available on my website that I'm proud to present you now. Um, the address is electronicleadscrew.eu um, I'll add the URL in the in the video description um, on the website you can order a single unit or a unit with an encoder because I have quite a, a lot of requests from people who have trouble sourcing the encoder or they have doubts on what to buy so I also provide the package with the, with the encoder Shipping costs are calculated when you when you enter the address. Uh, I often have this question: uh, How much is the shipping cost? So just enter your address. 
You can also have access to the user manual. Uh, you can download it there. Um, manual is in English only. Yeah, and there is an FAQ. And if you have any question, you can send me a request there. Well, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm waiting for you for your comments. Don't hesitate. Bye.